Neuropathic pain is the pain that arises due to damage to nerves that carry pain signals. These nerves are present in the brain, spinal cord and the periphery of the body. Neuropathic pain is a burning, tingling or electric shock-like pain. It may be triggered by a very light touch, sometimes even by clothes or bed sheets. A painful stimulus produces pain out of proportion to the stimulus. A mildly painful stimulus may cause severe pain. Sensations are absent or abnormal in the affected area. Neuropathic pain occurs due to damage to the nerves responsible for carrying pain signals. The damage makes them hyperactive, they become highly sensitive and may spontaneously generate pain signals, which result in pain in normally painless or mildly painful conditions. The damage to the pain nerves may occur in conditions affecting the brain. Example, following a stroke. Spinal cord. Example, multiple sclerosis, transverse myelitis. Or the peripheral nerves. Example, following herpes zoster, diabetic neuropathy, phantom limb, sciatica, trigeminal neuralgia. The pain that arises from the brain or spinal cord is usually more severe and difficult to treat as compared to that arising from the periphery. Medications used to treat neuropathic pain include the following. Gabapentin and pregabalin, which are often used to treat seizures. Carbamazepine, also an anti-seizure medication, is used to treat trigeminal neuralgia. The antidepressant medications are noritriptyline, dizipramine, duloxetine and venlafaxine. Venlafaxine and duloxetine are preferred in older individuals or those who require a high degree of concentration since they are less likely to cause excessive sleep. Lignocaine patches, which can be used locally to relieve pain following herpes zoster in patients who experience pain on mild touch. Opioids like morphine and tramadol, which can be used alone or along with the above medications. Opioids are not as effective in neuropathic pain as compared to other painful conditions. Nerve blocks, spinal cord stimulation, peripheral nerve stimulation are among some of the procedures that may be required in some cases. Neuropathic pain can be emotionally draining and affect routine tasks. A support system in addition to medications may be necessary for a good quality of life. Lack of movements due to the pain could stiffen the joints. Therapies like physical and occupational therapy help to cope with the pain, strengthen muscles and allow routine activities or continuation of work. Assistive devices can be used to move around and do work. Relaxation techniques and yoga may also help to relieve pain, but should be adopted only after consulting the doctor. It is necessary to accept that the pain is likely to stay. Stay positive and move forward in life. Psychological techniques, for example, cognitive behavioral therapy, help to deal with the pain, maintain a positive attitude and engage in routine activities and social interactions. Over-the-counter medications like aspirin and ibuprofen usually do not relieve neuropathic pain and their use over prolonged periods can cause side effects. Therefore, Use medications only on the recommendation of the doctor. The doctor may prescribe B-complex vitamins that help nerve function and local creams that contain capsaicin to relieve the pain. Since the nerve damage also affects sensations, care should be taken to prevent injuries to the affected part. Protect the feet with socks and comfortable shoes, while the hands may require gloves during certain jobs. Check the feet and hands frequently for injury, blisters or thickened skin and if present, get them treated at the earliest. Take special care during cold weather since it tends to dry and crack the skin. Conditions like diabetes and herpes zoster that can cause neuropathic pain should be adequately treated. Alcohol and smoking can damage nerves and should therefore be limited or avoided. A balanced diet can also benefit. Since the pain can affect sleep, a sleep routine can help in getting good sleep. Avoid excessive napping during the daytime and the use of electronic device just before going to bed. A soothing activity like listening to music before sleeping may be helpful. Position pillows or cushions to provide comfort and reduce the pain at night. 
neuropathic pain can affect the physical, mental and social functioning of the patient, sometimes pushing them to anxiety and depression. It is therefore necessary to keep a watch on the patient's mood and daily activities so that the mood disorders can be treated if necessary. Constant dealing with an ill person can lower the spirits of the caregiver. Take help and support from others to feel recharged. Try out simple methods for pain relief, like the application of heat with a heating pad. Make sure that the temperature is not too high to prevent burns. It is better to place a thin towel between the heating pad and the skin. Alternatively, provide a basin of warm water to soak the hands or feet. Some patients may find ice or cold pack soothing. The ice should be wrapped in a towel and applied to the painful part. Give the painful part a gentle massage. Massages improve the circulation, relax muscles and may make the patient feel better. Patients with neuropathic pain may have muscle weakness and are often prescribed medications that cause sleepiness, increasing their risk for falls. Provide them with a cane or walker if required. Remove excessive clutter from the house. Use kid-free mats in the bathroom. Provide railing for support. Try to distract the patient from the pain. Keep the patient engaged with entertainment like television or reading. Encourage participation in social functions and interaction with people. Constant dealing with an ill person can lower the spirits of the caregiver. Take help and support from others to feel recharged.